Hello, all my beautiful mystic friends. Welcome to your Friday, July 16th through Sunday, July 18th weekend energy. This is our mystic affirmations. It's a little different for those of you who have not seen this particular reading before. It's all about manifesting what you want starting from this moment, no matter what's past. We leave it all behind and we focus only on the target, the goal, and the future. Okay, so this is how we're doing it. This is how we do it. <laughs> this is the energy of positivity relentlessly optimistic manifestation. So if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you. And don't forget the registration is now open for the Royal Mystic Fall Solstice Retreat at Moody Gardens, September the 18th, 2021. You can attend in person or on Zoom. With all of that being said, let's go into the reading. So we have the Eight of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So normally when you're when you've got a progression where it goes from the seven to the eight it's like that makes sense but this actually makes sense so I'll, I'll explain the eight of cups is the energy of a way being made clear so that your dump truck load of blessings can back on up this driveway here <laughs> and pour it out so you all know that's what i call this card because it really does feel like somebody has come in and just dumped everything you've asked for right on your doorstep and now you've got to do something with it because you can't leave it out for the buzzards right so we have this beautiful way being made because you have accomplished and done all the legwork and all the groundwork and all the the prelim getting ready and prepping everything is now open to for go 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 that's like a landing strip right we love that and there comes your blessings being delivered to you this is the literally the overflow of abundance that's coming in from every direction so what a bang on start for this weekend we love this energy and i'm happy to give it to you so here we go let's see what else we have thank you angels archangels divine pure white light divine spirit spirit guides gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone all signs sun moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path we thank you so much divine for these blessings and beautiful messages and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended thank you for this divine guidance and we welcome your energy always Let's see what we've got here. These three beautiful cards are coming out. And our underlier is the energy of the death card. Now, this is not a bad thing. It means death to the old way, which is never uh, something people understand when they see the death card. Uh, this used to be a card that really, I had to really learn about it so that I wouldn't take the literal meaning of it. And tarot is not literal when you look at the cards. This is where all the old toxic stuff that we're letting go from the day before is now being released. When we have this energy, it's a purging. It is the Scorpio Major Arcana, and I call this the Cosmic Garbage Man. So it's like the big trash dump in the sky. Now, he incinerates it so it doesn't accumulate. There's not a big pile or mountain of garbage. He reduces it down to nothing. But in the meantime, when he's doing that, he's also creating a clean new start for you. So that's a beautiful, the first three cards in this reading are perfectly lined. So for you to have a new start and a new beginning and to have everything kind of out of the way. Because remember, when you're carrying around all that garbage, you're also tripping over it. So... And it gets heavy. It kind of gums up the works. That's what I'm getting from one of my guys. It gums up the works. <laughs> so magnetism. I attract and magnetize to me all that I need to get what I want. This is absolutely part of what we're doing with the law of attraction. That is literally turning on your magnet to bring in. But see, what we have to do is make sure our frequency is at the right magnetic draw because you don't want to draw in all more garbage right so 
we want to be in a place where, <clears throat> sorry, our heart has brought us to a place of strength and able to move forward. We have empowerment here. I recognize and appreciate all that inspires me to feel empowered. These are things in your life that make your heart sing, that make you feel like it's part of the, these, doing your vision board, finding a picture of something that you would desire and putting it at your desk or in, in somewhere in your home office, somewhere where you see it all the time. You can put it in the kitchen cabinet where every time you open to get your a coffee cup or a plate or and nobody else knows it's there. You can put it in the bathroom, on the mirror, inside the cabinet, wherever you look every day. So this is why, if you ever see an expanded view of my desk, you can see I've got a menagerie of things. That's why I have these beautiful little, these are hairpins. I know they've got a clip on the end and you can probably see the bobby pin, but they make me happy. And I put them up there so that I am continuously broadcasting love and hope because that's my spirit. That makes me know that's my, I'm locked into those frequencies. Okay. So that's, it's important to have these things. I have a whole bunch of little things that y'all really probably can't discern from everything else, but they all matter and they all make me feel it's my rings, my bracelets. When I do my nails, all of that makes me feel special and on purpose. I pick, a, pick anything I do with my nails. I pick because I feel like it's something that I want to exude. So big, happy changes. We love big, happy changes. We receive you. Yes, yes, yes. And so it is. This big, beautiful rainbow aura is surrounding this beautiful angel. And that's what we love. That's going to be part of the ceremony uh, or the closed ceremony when we do the retreat is to reset and, you know, seal your aura, clear it and seal it, heal it and seal it. So that there's a whole bunch of clearing things that are going to happen. And uh, that's the that's the hope to turn your light back on and bring in all the amazing energy. We love the Merkla. OK, so this is two triangular pyramids. They're called tetrahedrons, and they are inserted within each other. The reason they've got them different colors so that you can see the difference, okay? And if, <clears throat> if you want to think of it, it could also be yin and yang energy because they're two different energies combined. The frequency of the Merkava supports our ability to use our consciousness to traverse its other layers of reality into other layers of reality and dimensions. It activates our access to the Akashic record and then, sorry, to our Akashic inheritance as well, merging the totality of our experiences into our present and to serve our higher purpose. So we have connection to divine source through the blueprint of life. And as you can see, this is the, the beginnings that you can see the lights on the end of them. It's starting to have these circles around them. That's Metatron's cube. Every one of those lights is a, has its own little circle of energy at the tip of each one of these. And it becomes to be, this is the sacred geometry of all existence, the blueprint of life. And when I say Metatron's cube, Metatron is an archangel that ascended from being a human. He was originally... Um, I got to think of his name. I'll think of it while I'm talking. He, um, oh, I'm sorry. Let me see. I just jumped right on into, let me get our little thing here. That was our top card. I'll read it. Uh, he ascended as a human. He worked so hard and so diligently. They gave him angelic status. He was moved into the angelic realm and not only just angelic, he is an archangel, and he's considered the scribe of God. So, it is a beautiful energy, and he is the one who's keeping the records for, for all existence. And that's his cube. It is my mind that creates my experiences. I am unlimited in my own ability to create the good in my life. That's a true statement, and this is why we're here. You're unlimited 
in your own ability to create the good in your life. It doesn't say to receive the good, it says to create the good. Your mind is creating every experience that you are having because you get to choose how you see it. See, that's the thing. We are sentient beings and we don't have to look at things in just one dimension. It's not just this and that is all. We actually can change our point of view, change our interpretation, change our development of it, and manifest what we want. If you don't like what you're seeing, change what you're thinking. That is the simplest way I can put it. I now go beyond other people's fears and limitations. The reason it's saying other people's is because you've been taught fear and limit. You've been taught to doubt and to think of lack. Those two things are not real. You have the ability to create all the abundance in your life through what your mind is allowing you to send out vibrationally. You are creating what's coming back. Subjective reality, my darlings. Love is everywhere and I am loving and lovable. Loving people fill my life and I find myself easily expressing love to others. I experience love wherever I go. I'm going to interrupt this real quick. Enoch was the human that became Archangel Metatron. Love is everywhere, and I am loving and lovable. Loving people fill my life, and I find myself easily expressing love to others. I experience love wherever I go. And when you're sending this kind of message out, love is the highest resonating energy there is. And that, when you, you hear people do it, they speak it in negative ways too, and guess what? It works. However you say it, the universe won't limit you and it won't tell you, oh no, you shouldn't do that. It's going to be negative. It's your free will. If you want to live that life, it's your choice. So if you don't like what you're doing and seeing and having happened to you, change what you believe. The lover's card is a beautiful energy of being comforted and being in a, a wonderful relationship with your higher self or your physical self uh, or a physical person or, you know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I guess you could do the other two, but that's not this kind of show, right? So, <laughs> so here, is, this isn't that kind of show. We're, we're moving past that. I'm going to glaze over it. Here we go. Whoop, reboot. The lovers is the energy of love and beautiful acceptance from divine spirit, your higher self, or a relationship with another person. It's also the Gemini Major Arcana. In the standard tarot, it would have a male and a female energy. And the, the masculine is the energy of your physical form. And the feminine is your soul. So it shows the soul being lifted up and connected to source. It's the vessel that we are in the human form, holding the soul that's constantly striving and ascending through different levels of the beautiful light realm to make us go into our beautiful connection to spirit. So, not make us, but to help us. So, there, there is that. You know, I always have to have some crazy something, I say. So here's the Seven of Wands, which is telling you to stand your ground and not to settle for less than you deserve. Be sure that you don't let other people make you, A, feel like you are worthless, especially if you're in a, in a job negotiation. Um, it's one of those things where sometimes you have to take a job that you know you're way overqualified for. That's a different scenario. What I'm saying is uh, make sure that you 
put yourself in the position to qualify for things and look for the right things so that you're not in a place of losing out. Now, this can also mean if you're negotiating something. Now, if you choose to settle, don't make it be something that you have to live with for the rest of your life, right? If you settle for this, but you know it's only temporary, that's, that's a good thing. But you always want it to be in a win-win. Any agreement you make, both parties must be in a place of advantage. Because if you drop into the disadvantage, that's when you put yourself in that lower vibration. And you won't be happy. Four of Wands. Stable, solid foundation, good communication, solid, solid energy. Be feeling very safe and secure in this Four of Wands. It's about good communication and people around you who you get along with. Everybody's in a place of equal balance. So... Isn't that a, a wonderful thought? There are actually places who do that. So, And uh, if you end up working for yourself, you can create that own, your own world there. So many blessings to you, my darling friends. I will see you again in August, hopefully in the at the retreat in September. And we will speak again at the beginning of August. Many blessings. Namaste.